What is up, you horror nerds? It's me, your host, once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Welcome back to the channel. Man, I'm bringing a good one for you. I feel like somebody suggested that I check this one out. Apocalyptic, fun, and holy crap Ola. This movie was something else. Yeah, you gotta check it out. I'm talking about the 2011 rated R release of The Divide. This thing, man, unrated. Woo-wee! Rated R, runs at an um, hour and 52 minutes. Man, what a movie. I mean, you have got to check this movie out. If you aren't familiar with it, let me uh, tell you about it, okay? So prepare yourself for the unrated movie experience that critics are calling one of the most graphic and extreme end-of-the-world shockers of our time. As nuclear warheads rain down on Manhattan, nine strangers, including Lauren German from Hostel Part 2, Michael Bine, sorry, Aliens and Tombstone, Emilio Ventimagia from Heroes, um, Courtney B. Vance from Law and Order Criminal Intent, Ivan Gonzalez, Michael Eklund from Hunt to Kill, Ashton Holmes from Revenge and Roseanne, Rosanna Arquette from Pulp Fiction barricade themselves in their apartment building's bunker-like basement, controlled by the unhinged superintendent. But within days, supplies dwindle, tempers flare, and the trapped survivors find themselves overcome with treachery, madness, sexual torment, and savage violence. What follows is intense. It is raw, and it is brutally, horrifyingly real. This is The Divide. Holy crap again, okay? So, it does feature, again, uh, Lauren uh, German, I believe is her name now. I think it's, yeah, German. Um, Hostel Part 2, 03 Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Of course, she was on the TV show um, Lucifer. Very beautiful woman. Um, mild crush on her, I'm not going to lie. Probably from the Lucifer TV series because I liked her attitude. Um, features uh, Michael Bine, I believe is his name, from Aliens, Planet Terror, the Terminator, The Abyss. Um, he's the he does great in it as well. And of course, you know, just all those people listed. Just we're talking a phenomenal, phenomenal cast. They did great. I will say, the beginning was a little slow, so I wasn't sure what we we're going, what was going on here. And then, I mean, once it hits about the halfway point, I mean, we're talking pedal to the metal. This thing is going. You are like, what the heck? People are going crazy. There's stuff that's like, I mean, the sexual torment stuff and everything. I mean, it's like uh, there's a lot of gore and a lot of things that are people will probably squint at and make them feel very yucky, which I loved. I, mean, I love those movies. I love the extreme movies. And this one is right there. I think they had a $3 million budget. But um, they only made like $145,000 worldwide. I don't know if that's because the beginning was so slow or because it was so extreme or because the unrated version was so edited that nobody it kept nobody engaged. You know, and again, predictable at the beginning and slow. That's probably why it's not a little bit higher than it is, but still probably in the top 10 movies that I've watched this year so far. I mean, people are crazy. And this is probably how it would be in real life, you know, if we got stuck in a bunker somewhere because of some sort of apocalyptic um, event. But man, I mean, it's, it almost left me speechless there at the end. And I, I, I like extreme media, and it's right there. I mean, it's tame compared to some, but then there's, I mean, it's right up there. I'm, I mean, it's not as extreme as like, you know, the Belko experiment or... Um, you know, Serbian film or Cannibal Holocaust, but there are scenes that you're like, yo, that is messed up. So if you're into extreme horror cinema and you can sit through the first half of it being slow and predictable, buckle up because I think you'll really like it. I'm giving it a 6.5 out of 10. It's only rated R, uh, which is surprising, but I guess normally this is the unrated version, which you got to get 2011 The Divide. Check it out. If you've seen it, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Give me more extreme media. I want to check more out. Love to see it. Appreciate y'all. Stick around. Like, subscribe. Hit the death bell for notifications. That's what we do. I'll see y'all around.